first already a new month. Same old weather, Lisette. <laughs> <laughs> yes, July and August do tend to be our hottest months in the summer, so really not a big surprise, right, that we're dealing with this kind of heat. But when you take a look at the old records and how we've been breaking them left and right the past few days and for so many days persistently, well, yeah, it's getting old. It, the news, the weather news is getting old. I'm sure many of you are hoping for some rain now because it brings us some relief. I know for us here in my home, we would love some rain for a backyard because the grass is starting to get a little crispy. Here's a view from our Broward camera in Fort Lauderdale. Lots of sunshine, of course, heating us up. And our Key West camera right now enjoying some blue skies and just a few clouds. Temperatures on the rise. 94 in Miami, 93 in Kendall, 90 in Weston, 91 in Fort Lauderdale. We're seeing 90s down through the Keys as well. And it feels like the hundreds. Feels like 109 in Marathon. It feels like 101 in Miami because it's so sticky and so steamy. We're dry for now. The breeze, though, is developed out of the east southeast, 5 to 12 miles an hour. And we're going to heat up to the low to mid 90s. Some areas could hit the upper 90s. That was the case yesterday when we tied the record or we broke the record in Miami with 98 degrees. And then the heating of the day will help to fuel some storms across the inland areas over the Everglades. You'll notice around 2, 3 p.m. Some of those storms will likely be moving eastward across parts of Broward and Miami-Dade County that could produce some heavy downpours. And even through late afternoon and evening, we will continue to see the chance for some scattered storms as this model was showing us and maybe even around dinner time later tonight for boaters wind south five to ten knots east two to three a light chop on the bays and tonight again a few storms early then overnight should be quiet but warm and muggy low 80s as you see the moisture forecast we'll see a lot more green by the end of the week meaning saturday and especially as we head into sundays we're going to see a better chance for showers and storms as that deeper moisture will be over us the good news is as we kick off the month of july it's quiet in the Caribbean, in the Gulf, and across the Atlantic tropical cyclone. Development is not expected in the next 48 hours or in the next five days. However, as we head throughout the next few days, we're going to continue with the sizzling heat, highs in the low to mid 90s, and it's going to feel like the hundreds. The chance for those afternoon and evening storms. Fourth of July, not looking too bad, still very summery with highs in the low 90s, some afternoon storms, and then the chance for more storms likely on Sunday with the low 90s. Maribel.